Thank you. Washburn University celebrates completion of a big project on its campus tomorrow, and it's just in time for what would have been its namesake's 100th birthday. Washburn President Dr. Julianne Mazacek is here to tell us about Dole Hall, the new law school building. You're hoping those storms are out of here by tomorrow afternoon. We are. What are the big festivities you have planned? So tomorrow afternoon, our large festivity starts at 3 o'clock. We have uh, elected officials, our governor and both Senator Marshall and Senator Moran will be there along with other dignitaries and people who made the, the project possible to cut the ribbon on our brand new academic building, the law, our brand new law school that we have named in honor of one of our most um, honored and, and highly reputable uh, alumni of both our undergraduate and law school, uh, Senator Robert Dole. Very cool. And do you plan, will any members of the Dole family be able to be there tomorrow? Yes, we are so excited. Robin Dole will be able to be with us on Friday for this uh, momentous and once in a lifetime occasion. Yeah, how big of a deal is this? What is this new facility like? What does it mean to Washburn Law's program? So this is a brand new from the ground up designed to be a state of the art program and a building with all of the technology that you need today to teach and for students to learn in classrooms that are filled with natural light and give them an opportunity to be in the spaces where they can interact and connect. And then we also have two uh, courtrooms that are in this. We have a little bit of video of the yeah, building oh, good, if we want to show a little bit oh, of it because be yeah, the, the big floor to ceiling windows and, then, and everything and yes. the courtrooms. What do the courtrooms mean? So we have um, we have two. We have a trial courtroom and we have an appellate courtroom and um, they are they are designed specifically for those types of court experiences. The students will be able to learn in them. They'll be able to practice in them. And so we're very excited about that. That is something that is different than the previous law school. Uh, we also have a tremendous uh, mural that's in the entrance. I don't know if that's in your video or not that commemorates our role. Uh, Washburn, as you know, has always been about education for all and the law school is no different. Didn't matter your gender, your race, your socioeconomic background. You had a place at Washburn. That is true for our law school and we have a mural that commemorates Brown v. Board and some hmm. of those other other um, types of things, principles that we have related to our, our core mission. I found it interesting as the planning for this project went on. It started as one thing, of mm -hmm. course, then we had a pandemic hit, but because of that, you were able to kind of reshape what the project actually we looked did. like to respond to, as, as you've talked about, what today's students want and need and are mm -hmm. actually doing. Mm -hmm. So th th that's a great reason why sometimes a long project actually ends up with a better project. This is a great example. We started this project and started envisioning it well before the uh, pandemic and also well before a lot of the technology advancements that we've made in the last 12 years. And so we were able to kind of redesign the building right before we were ready to build and we were able to create the state of the art type of building that we need today, not you, what we needed 12 years ago. You now need a leader for this building. We do. Dr. Jeffrey Jackson is right, interim yes. dean. So what happens, well, how is the search going for a permanent dean? So I will tell you, we haven't started yet. And the reason is I wanna say interim Dean Jackson is doing a great job and I am grateful that they waited to fill any positions until they found out who the new president was and, I, and they waited for me to be here. <laughs> and so what happens though in higher ed is there's a certain time of year in the academic year that's the best time to look for your new leaders and to do a search and uh, we're about ready to embark upon that time in the fall. And so we will be working on doing a national search for our new dean. Well, we will wait and stay tuned when it comes to that and all the different hiring processes that are going on. Any early returns, I know you don't get official enrollment numbers in for another couple we months, don't. but any early returns on what it's looking like the new Shawnee County Scholarship Program is going to mean for the numbers in this freshman class? Yeah. So what I can tell you is it is too early for numbers. <laughs> However, we have um, evidence that people are so excited about this scholarship and we've heard from high school counselors, we've heard from high school principals and superintendents about how excited they are about this and how they personally know students who are going to be able to go to college that could not go to college without that scholarship. And we've seen some of those, we'll see if they enroll. I mean, <laughs> so, so we're always right. careful about what we say, but we have, the, the response has been tremendous. And we know that those scholarship programs have changed lives and that we're going to have students at Washburn 
because of them. Well, you probably will have a segment of people not just deciding to go to college at all, but then also, I know in my own family, I've heard mm -hmm. some conversations and, and in friends and things about, well, maybe we need to change. If they were debating between a couple schools, this maybe has tipped the scales in yeah. Washburn's favor. We have a few of those too, <laughs> yes. Well, we'll yes, wait to we see do. when the numbers come out, and we will, of course, be there in covering Washburn Law Thank School's you. building dedication yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, we're so excited. Thank you. Thank you so very much for being here. Well, we have more Senator Dole. The birthday celebrations continue Saturday. We'll look at events commemorating his mark on KU's campus next.